Welcome back to The Wolf and the Melody. I'm your host, Cosmic, a guy on a journey to reacting music I've never heard before. And today, I'm hitting you with Tiamat Gaia the, from the album Wild Honey. <laughs> Yo, this is, this is actually, I saw Wild Honey. You said that this song means a lot to you, and I wanted to react to it. Wild Honey introduced me to Septic Flesh. And that band has rocked my world. Uh, literally, that's all I've really been listening to on my on the outside. There's something about them that just really speaks to me. And I feel a connection that I have not felt in a very long time. I posted this in the community thing about a song that makes you feel like you've heard music for the first time. And those moments are very rare when they come along. Um, and I feel like that. Like when I first heard Septic Flesh, there was like it was like I was listening. It was like one of those moments, like out of body experiences. So I noticed that you said something about this song, and so I wanted to check it out too. And I'm gonna share it with the community, my the the council community. I'm gonna call you guys the councilites. <laughs> the councilites are gathered today. Um, but seriously, thank you, Wild Honey, just for being awesome. And and every everybody else, like all of you have, you all have opened up a doorway to music that I was very limited on. So I love doing stuff like this. And I, I love listening to songs that mean a lot to you. So I, I approach this with the utmost respect and this is helping me step into your, your mind. So y'all, we're going to get into this Tiamat uh, Gaia. I hope y'all are doing well. Thank you for being here.
hold on. Dude, I don't know what I was expecting with that. So moody and... And I don't mean that in like a, a bad way, but it's very somber and thoughtful. When nature calls, we'll all just drown. You know, it makes me think of something. Um, I work like in the country. My office overlooks a forest, and they're tearing it down. They're tearing it down, and it's caused a lot of wildlife to make its way over to our property, but it's caused them to get hit by cars on the road in between our property and the forest, and I remember I was leaving work the other night, and I I could see... (laughs) I'm not trying to be graphic, but like the carcasses of these animals, like I'm talking like it's a good bit and I'm just like, I'm sad. Like I personally, like when I see stuff getting torn down and, and and whatever, like I'm just kind of like, like it makes me, it does. And, And I feel like I, maybe this, I missed the message of the song, but like thinking about that line when nature calls the wall just drown, like the reclamation of nature and the power and the beauty of it. But, uh, but apart from the message of the song, his voice, man, that is like something that would resonate in like deep halls. Like, I feel like he could be singing in the lowest part of like a building and I could hear him to the top. His voice would just echo off the walls. Dude. Tiamat. Gaia. It's really, it's really something when like, when you all tell me like a favorite song of yours or, or a song that means a lot to you. When I, when I step into it, it tells me a lot about you and why this song resonates in your, in your heart. Hmm. So thank you for mentioning this song and y'all, uh, I've never heard of Tiamat. So other than from Dungeons and Dragons, so <laughs> But uh, I liked it. Are they still doing stuff? I'm gonna have to look. I'm I'm gonna have to look. I really liked his voice, and I liked I liked the flow of the music. I thought it was good. But um, y'all keep your head up, keep going. I love your face. You're gonna be okay. Go plant some trees and stuff and <laughs> garden, which I love the garden by the way. Um, until next time, we'll be back with another reaction.